Hi ladies and gents, me, Mr. the American Rebel, and of course I'm going to do some quick commentary. Um, and you know, a lot, many times it comes spur from me and my wife's um, arguments, or not arguments, but disagreements about some things. And um, some of the best, I mean, because, you, you know, you know, she's, I love her to death, you know, she's, she's very empathetic and all that, and I love her for that, but sometimes just don't agree. Well, apparently, you know, we ran into one thing. She was looking at my TikTok videos, you know, my go, my joke videos. And, uh, of course, she doesn't look at them that much for the main fact that, you know, she doesn't want to agree with my jokes. And, um, you know, but then, you know, it's like everyone else. She wants to see what, what else I'm going to, what the heck I'm going to say. Oh, I ran across your TikTok. Oh, well, then this. And then she has a critique. Well, this particular critique brought us in with is called What Ifs and Coulds. What living by what don't live by what ifs and so it's what ifs and coulds, ladies and gentlemen. We live in a world where we are too for that we do not want that you know we live by what ifs and coulds, especially in the way we talk and the way we do things. You know, the what spurred it was basically I had a whole bunch, um, I had a very funny video of Americans and Iraq, um, um, Americans represented with by a bunch of raccoons in a dumpster, and the Democratic, the Democrat part, the Democratic Party of Washington opening up and getting ready to give us the garbage, their garbage or what's left over. That was Americans. Well, my wife then said, said that, well, you know, coon was, you know, a bad term for African Americans. And someone could, someone could. I said, okay, what's well, their problem? If someone could. And so then she went off on it. And, 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 and you know, we, I, I, I just told her, listen, you can't live, we can't live by, and I said, you know, what happens if it's I went there? I said, well, you know, if you, you know, I take it that you're offended. But my point is that, you know, no matter what word is there now, what words, what ifs and coulds are things are, are things that are different, are, are things that are basically assuming or assumptive. Not, they haven't happened yet. And we're going to go more into this in the next one. But when you go what ifs and coulds, why do you live by, why do we live in with what ifs and coulds? They've never happened. What if I don't get, what if I don't get another job? But, but another paying job? Or what happens if I leave this job and I go and I, and I don't get, I don't, and I don't get it and I lose this job? What if? You live your life by that what if? Or oh, I could offend someone if I, if I, I could offend someone if I put a raccoon in the dumpster in regards to, um, you know, a joke and, and label them all Americans. I could offend someone that's African American because they, they could take it as African American. So that one person, you think I'd change my mind for that one whole person outside this outside world?